Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus. And it will be from the 19th to the 25th of April 2021. So I hope you well. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your angel card. So what do we have for Scorpio please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Scorpio for the week. What does Scorpio need to hear the most? message for our lovely Scorpios thank you okay so I have get more information it might be some practical advice for you to get more information of the need yeah to get some information here so I'm going to pull three cards and then we clarify go deeper into the message Scorpio and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you okay so message for Scorpio, please, angels, spirits, guides for the week 19th to the 25th of April 2021. Thank you, Page of Pentacles and the challenge position. Knight of Swords. Temperance. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Scorpio, please. Angels, spirits, guides, what do we have for Scorpio? Thank you. 19th to the 25th of April, 2021. Let's clarify the cards on the table, please. One more shuffle. Message for Scorpio, thank you. Starting with this page of pentacles, please. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you. Yeah, I've got the page. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, Knight of Swords, yes. Oh gosh, I love that combination. And Temperance. We have the Seven of Swords, bottom of the deck. Yeah, happy, 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 happy energy. Yeah. Things are going to look up. It definitely feels. You might need to get some more information. Just remember that. Yeah. Any negotiations or whatever is taking place, make sure you read the fine detail. Pentacles always ask you to do that. Um, but, you know, the page of pentacles can be generally associated with um, uh, can be to do with financial business career opportunity uh, and they generally represent messages the beginnings of something new hearing something but it feels in this situation there's been a lack of progress or something has been delayed or uh, maybe it's just taken a long time for whatever reason it could be the pandemic that things have been put on hold um But it feels in this situation, Scorpio, that all of a sudden you're hearing news. The sun is good news. The, <laughs> the Knight of Swords can be about news, information, uh, a conversation coming your way. So it, it feels for some of you that you've been wait. It feels that you've been waiting for some kind of opportunity, and there's been lack of progress or delays. Either something that you've already had initial conversations about, or it could be something new. But, you know, this is, it's happening. You know, it's on. Uh, something that was on hold is on again. And there's a feel-good energy. You know, the, the Sun card is, is a card of celebration, happiness, joy. Um, can be about overcoming some kind of challenge and, and putting it behind you as well. Uh, and stepping into your light. It's a feel-good energy. So it feels like there's some good news coming your way. It's happy news. Now, there's definitely this energy of you have been acting strategically here. You know, the Seven of Swords, we sometimes see when... Well, there can be a couple of meanings of that. If you're in a current job and you're applying for a new one, you know, for example, or, you know, looking at, you know, doing something on your own or getting some finances sorted to set up on your own. I mean, you know, this can be to do with finances. It can be to do with opportunity. There's definitely this energy. If you've been, you might have been working behind the scenes to go for something here and nothing's been happening. There's been a lack of progress. 
So that's what you've just been doing. You've been acting strategically, you know, keeping things to yourself, being covert. This can also be about self-deception as well, self-sabotage. Um, a feeling of don't hold back here, you know. Because the temperance card is, is about finding balance it's a card of moderation it's it, it's a card of, of patience and purpose and finding your way forward through a situation that may have been you know tricky it just feels for some of you that you're, you're getting balance you're doing the things that you need to do to get balance back in your life or find your flow i'm definitely getting this energy of finding your flow finding the way through a situation finally And we have the Ace of Cups, which can be, it's the cup of joy. Now, this is emotional energy, first and foremost. The Ace of Cups is happy new beginning. It's happy emotional rebirth. It's feeling happy on a new path. So it feels in this situation, something's coming your way and it's going to allow you to feel happy, maybe open a new door for you or certainly allow some emotional rebirth coming your way, emotional happiness, emotional joy. Uh, it just feels very beautiful here. You might have needed to be patient for this because like I said, temperance is just about, yeah, just you're finding your way through a situation, but there is just this patience, you know, but you will, you find your flow with temperance, you know, you get the balance back. It is just, you know, uh, it can be in some kind of testing situation where you're just finding the way through. And it, it definitely feels, I mean, some of you, maybe the seven of swords, you've just been keeping things to yourself, hoping that whatever opportunity you've been going for is happening. And it feels like it is. Because, you know, this Ace of Cups can be to do with creative opportunity. Um, it feels like it's bringing a new level of happiness your way. That's for sure. And that's really what I'm feeling the most here, Scorpio. It feels there was lack of progress on something and all of a sudden, there it is. You know, it's happening. Yeah. So really beautiful energy i'm going to pull a final card but remember to get more information that's all i'm going to say get more information yeah i like this energy we have magical blessings whatever you're going through you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings the fairies say you can bless others too i'm feeling something that was on hold or whether it was a lack of progress it's been given a new energy a new lot in a new burst of life it's coming to life it's springing into action and there's definitely an energy of some news coming your way as a result of that definite is definite and i'm getting this covert energy you know, keeping something to yourself, hoping that it's going to happen. And it definitely feels like there's reasons to be, you know, joyful here. A, a new door is opening for you and it's a happy one. And it's something that's absolutely connected to your heart energy, something that you really, really want. You know, it feels very beautiful. So, yeah, if there have been opportunities that have been put on hold or if there's been a lack of progress in a situation, just make sure that you're contacting people you know you might that might well be that as well um, just make sure you're contacting you know going around the house of contacting people or contacting the, the people or getting in contact with them again because it feels in this situation that it's it's being brought back to life for some reason so it feels very beautiful I hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time thank you